so I'm in Athens and there's no way, no way, I'm going to come to Athens without visiting my old friend Diane Kochilis. And um, we are going to make, really, Diane's going to make, with a tiny bit of help for me, Hortopita, a pie of homemade phyllo, very, very thin layers of dough and 10 or 15 greens. Amazing stuff. I smell mint. Yeah. Well, many <laughs> things, but I definitely smell mint. This is all generally what we comes under the umbrella of the word horta in Greek, right. which is weeds. So cook down the onion and the leek a little bit. This is a tradition that comes mainly from the north. It's a shepherd's tradition. And I'm going to get my spinach in here, my chard, and my pumpkin. Well, we're basically saying a mixture of a lot of cooking greens yeah. and fresh herbs. Sweet greens, they have to be sweet. You don't want dandelions, you don't want arugula, you don't want cress. Right. Okay. There's a lot going on here. The filling is usually not more than about, even that's too thick for the filling. This can come off. Burnet or burn it? Only if I'm right, I Burnett. think you <laughs> Let's say it's bur burnet. And the fennel, which is also a really Greek. So Mark, now we're going to make the phyllo dough. Okay. Homemade spitiko phyllo. Rolling pin. Dowel. I need two, two implements, okay. You don't really need two implements, but I like to work with this. And it also, you know, makes for good television. So. <laughs> Bread and dough have gotten a pretty bad rap the last few years, right? But there's something really comforting about this kind of food. So you show me one, I will do one. show you. You want to press it firmly, but not so firmly that you're tearing the dough. And if you do tear it, it's not a big deal. You see what I'm doing? I'm pushing it out. Yeah, I see it. I don't know if I can do it. Not that I would ever wish anything go wrong for you, but I'm very happy to see the holes in the dough because it gives me, <laughs> gives me confidence. Just pleat over the holes. You can always just do this as well. And of course, uh, in between layers. A little bit of olive oil, or a lot of olive oil by most people's definition. Don't worry, I'm gonna do this. I'm not, it takes a lot to get me worried, I'm not worried. You have to roll and push it out as you roll. Okay, getting there. Yeah, but don't cut me any slack. <laughs> I think you're okay. You think? I think so, yeah. Brush it, especially around the edges. Yay. Olive oil. Go through a lot of olive oil. We do. We go through, I don't know, I think the average is something like 20, 22 quarts a year per person in this country. <laughs> so you're just rolling. You're not braiding. You're not doing anything fancy. No. You're just rolling. Just rolling. Add some olive oil to this. <laughs> I love it. God forbid, right? Just basically scoring it. Keeps the, the dough crisper, crispier. Beautiful. I think that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's going in the thing. oven. It's going to take about... 50 minutes and it'll come out, it'll be beautiful, golden, rustic, kind of grandmotherly. Does it smell like olive oil in here or what? <laughs> we should wait about 15 or 20 minutes to let it, you know, kind of sit, cool down. We don't want it to fall apart. The filling will come out if we cut it right now. Okay. Fork or hands? Hands. Right. It's the Ooh, ultimate handheld food. Mm. The mint is very pronounced. The mint the is dill. pronounced. Even though it's really rustic peasant food. I agree. It's, it's so beautiful. Give me a hug. I can't kiss the food in my mouth. You don't have to kiss me. Give me a hug. Thanks a million. <laughs> Thanks. Kiss twice. Thank you.